we are uh, towards the bottom of the page, like in ten lines from the bottom. The line begins with the word Ye is Galas Hoatsmus. The question that now came up after having explained the principle of Nishikin and why Nishomis are vying for Nishikin despite the fact that they have something that is more profound, more real than Nishikin. Nishikin is only Ha'ora, where the Nishomis have a Mahus, a Mahus, a Yichud Gufni, which is a it is a part of the Lukus itself. Ha'ora is only, as he said, only a surmise. Yet, but we were able to explain it. Because this Ha'ora is from a superior level. And that illuminates and has an effect on the, on the reality of the Neshama even though it's it's real, it's a, it's a mahus, because that ha'ora is a reflection and allusion to something much higher. And we discussed this quite extensively. This whole this whole principle and the effect, like I said, a novi and a chokham, where the chokham his chokhma is increased by the fact that he's a novi and the novi. His nevu is increased by the father of Zachor. <coughs> However, finally we come to a completely different stance in this question. Why the Shomis are vying for the Shikin? And that is that this whole explanation that we provided, because the Shikin are from a higher level, is only viable, pertinent now. Where there is no gilu ho'atzmus, you only have oiris. So therefore, you have oir, you have a ha'ora of a higher level. It has an effect even on on on, on oiris that on oiris atzmim that are that are in in the show. But this union that the neshamis are longing for the shikis pihu, this is. Um, a, a, this is describing the state of the Nishom and Osid. And Osid love. And Osid love, the entire, the entire perspective changes. Because the Osid is going to be Gilho Atmos. This we started discussing a little bit yesterday. And because it is Gili Ho'atzmus, the Neshama will be at the level the way it is in Atzmus. Therefore, we have the question, this, and, and in that state, in that level, where is the Neshama vying for something, a Ha'ora of something higher? What is something higher? This is, this is, the, this is Atzmus itself. Now to explain and discuss the Sinyan that the Nishams are the way they are in Atmos. So we try to, to, to explain a principle. That all Giluim and Oir is not something that's created externally, but it's something that is rooted in the Yetz. Like, um, the various, the various illustrations of an Yetz that we have in our world, we said that the human being has an Atzmius presence in the world. He is not in the world for some kind of a limited functional purpose. He, he in the world is one thing, he actually belongs here. And he is what makes the world real, as we discussed many times. 
Then there is what's called that which is oil of the person, that which, which emanates from the person, such as, we say a person has to have a home. Odom she'ne ba'i se'ne yodom. Now, this home element, looking at it from a functional and, and, and a gili level, from the oil level, there are many different levels you can see it at. At the lowest level, he has to have a home, otherwise he's going to be exposed to the elements. Just to protect himself. Clearly, this this level of, of a home does not represent the essence of the human being. But as I said, the animal also needs, also hides under the rock when when, when there's a storm. <coughs> so then we go back and we say, no, that which the Gemara says, Odom Shane Abai is Ene Odom refers to a much more fundamental, much more pristine element in the human being. And it actually is representative and it touches to the essence, the essential presence of the person in the world. In other words, it is not at all due to the functional, the external effect of his being in the world. But rather, this is an internal, a personal, a personal um, and, um, aim. Like we explained generally, that a person came to the world to affect the world. In order to affect the world, in order to conquer, to conquer the world, you have to have a resonance. You have to be a citizen. You have to be from, um, uh, rooted there, founded there. It can't be a wayfarer of an effect on the world. So therefore, and from this perspective, this whole meaning is something which is, which um, 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 is an emanation from the essential presence of the person, not 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 a, a, a only not a functional, not an external, and a a reactive type of a, of a requirement. It is proactive. This is the person himself creates the whole idea, not the circumstance. This principle that the Etzen possesses internally all the things that serve the Etzen eventually, Is an, is an important principle to understand, and it's also important to understand that the way this concept of the home is contained within the essential presence of the person himself, compared to the way this home is is understood after he is in peace in the world and after he builds a home, is not comparable. On the practical level, when he builds a home, it is it is uh, compromised. Yes, the per this is a human thing, but it's also a practical thing. It becomes part of the system world, becomes just a ha'or of the real thing. But the way it is in the essence, then it is the pure truth of the human, the, 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 the human being. Essentially, from our vantage point, it means to say that there are, there, there, there is an element. A human being is a Gandhi creation, and it's, a, and it's given a Gandhi presence in the world. And you said, that's a Gandhi presence. From that perspective, he has a Gandhi presence in the world. The, the possibility of him lacking anything doesn't exist. This is not where he's coming from. 
That doesn't touch the, the, the real essence of the human being. The human being is exclusively proactive, and it brings, like I said, the sun is etzim behili. There's nothing that contributes to the light of the sun. The fact that the sun shines on medium on, on, on a huge, huge expanse does not contribute anything to the sun. The sun is a in here. This is this is the uh, 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 this is the, the way things are from the essence essential from the essence perspective. Again, for us this is a big revelation. Because being in a, 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 a worldly, from a worldly vantage point, you say, well, of course, he has to have a home, and we can hardly separate. We can hardly uh, go beyond the functional requirement, and to see there's an essential thing. It requires a whole many generations to point out, no, there is something essential about. It. So the similar Indian is to be understood the way the, the Neshama. The Neshama is, 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 is a godly presence. This Indian, the Neshama is a godly presence. The Neshama is truly representative and is rooted in Atmos. That's what the Neshama is. The Neshama is an Atmos. Anybody has asked me, it lives by itself? No, no, it doesn't live by itself. It lives because, because you know, like I said, the human being is an asthma. He lives by himself? Of course not. He's an asthma because he, and the neighbor still gives, it, gives him that status. So without going back into this union, I think this is clear and discussed it many times. So this is, but the Neshama is an Atzmi, it's rooted in Atzmas. And it is contained within Atzmas. And the way the Neshama is contained within Atzmas, there is nothing you can add to it that has an um, Atzmi reality. Actually, is, is is illuminated and, and brought to, to and and it it is it relates and it, uh, its orientation is the truth of Atmos. Since that we also love, there will be Gilihu Atmos, and that is going to be the Nishomis will be will be in the state the way they are in their source, in Atmos itself. Therefore, we have the question, at that stage, in that state, why are the Neshama buying for Dini for Nishiki? What else can be added to it? This is the, the truth of Atmos itself. And this is again in Nishiki's field, is describing the state that would be, the Neshamas will be requesting and longing for in, in, this, in the future, after the Gili Hoatmos. This is the question. Okay. So I just want to start, start one line above what I pointed. The line begins with Kuli, so that you'll have Remus Rhesius here pointing to the question. It is in fact uh, about uh, 11 lines from the bottom. Ma shaya ha'ora el If it is, there's Atmos, what is ha'ora, ha, what is referred to when you say ha'ora el yein? A har ha'ora. Ma shaya ha'yisrei b'yizgalos ha'mahus And what is the the significance? What is the meaning when you say that that 
as a result of this higher ha'ora, there will be a supremacy and elevation in his galas ha'mahus, in the mahus that is contained in the shom. What kind of yisim can be, what kind of, of, of supremacy can be added to the mahus of the neshama, Ali said through the ha'ora. Shaharei his galas or atzmas. Since that the mahus would then represent his galas of the atzmas itself. So what kind of, um, of, 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 of an added supremacy can there be? Why are the Nishama vying for Nishiki? Okay. Pasha Truma. in the and then the following explanation, discussion. Isa, over there it says, the Indian Hanishiki, over there the Alter explains what is the Indian for Nishiki. What is the Nishiki, so to speak, in their essence? Hugilui Bechinas Oir Atzmi. This is a Gilu. Nishiki clearly is a Gilu. It's an expression, a revelation. But it's a giloy, a revelation of the Bechina of Eir Atzmi. Of the aspect of the Eir Atzmi. Now we're going into the nitty gritty to understand the Nikon Shiki. There's a story, an episode, when the Friedrich Free Rebbe was still a baby in the crib. And his crib was standing in the Rebbe, in his father's room, in the Hashab's room. And um, there was a Chosid in the room, was talking to the Rebbe. I can't remember who this horse was at the moment. And um, the horse glanced at the baby in the crib. The baby was a very bright, clear, shining baby. So the horse remarked that the purity of the face of this baby you can tell the purity of of, of, the, of, the, of the father, of the parent. So at that time, it was the Rebbe, the father, looked, looked at, at the son, looked at, at the, at the Friedrich Rebbe, and he had, and he had a, a, an overwhelming flow of love for the child. Years later, he wrote a mimer, and he gave it to me to his son, my many years later. And he told him the story, that at that moment, he had a great urge to kiss him. And he resisted kissing him, and this mimer, this is the kiss, this is the chiddush kiss. This kiss was substituted by my machines. What, how can a, my machines substitute for a kiss? Very, very briefly, we're not going to go into this. I might see this, this is a flow from the Neshama itself. This kiss was, a, was a, 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 a drawing from the Neshama. Mm-hmm. And this drawing from the Neshama can only be expressed in a kiss. 
So let me express a little thing more tangible. To make it more tangible, you want a minor. So uh, this kiss will be a lasting kiss. Will be, will be there. He gave him part of himself from where this kiss is coming from. And, um, and that's what they, they, that came out in the mind. So this is the alternative explains that the key says, Agili Bechina Sayratsmi. What is it? We always explain the Bechina Sayratsmi. We have to understand, as we mentioned, I hope you give me a chance to finish this. Uh, Atzmi does not does not come forward. Atzmi cannot be nizgal. Atzmi stays with Atzmi. But there is the bechina, the effect of the Atzmi. It's a gili bechina say Atzmi. The gini bechina say ratzmi. This is the this is the this is the kiss. What's a, what's what's special in a kiss? A, a kiss is a gini. It's an expression, but it's an expression that does not transmit anything. It's only an illusion. It's a bechina sayratz. It's a gilu, but you can't be megala at it. Bechina sayratz. It, it's an allusion to the inner sayratz. This is the inner from the sheik. <coughs> so the Alter Rebbe explains in the Bavir and Taylor that an inner and sheik in who gilu bechina sayratz and shalamailo may he slap just be kain. Which is above being his slap shoes became. What's his slap shoes became mean? Slapshoes became means it, it cannot be transmitted and 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 and, and contained in any in any other means. In any case, it cannot be represented by anyone. Mami slap shoes became. Venimshach and this Nina Hanishiki is Nimshach, is draw, is aroused to come forth to be Nizgale, Alidei Habiruri, as a result of Biruri. What is Biruni? In very simple terms, Biruni means that you have um, an oil and a key that is concealed, deeply concealed, and as a result of its concealment, instead of seeing the Lakus, you see a worldly entity. Something could be even denying a little. No, this is a mitzvah, a world of mitzvahs. And because there is the yin ho etzem, you say, no, it cannot be, it cannot be that there is no lakus in there. And therefore you, you, you pursue it and pursue it until you, uh, you reveal the nakuda ho This is the biruni. This is how it is nimshach. In 
other words. Birunim, as we said, Birunim come in a, in a, in a, in a camouflage manner. You know, a manner come out of, of hell. And when when we refuse to accept the hell, and we say, yes, we see only world, but but in essence, the essence cannot be it cannot be displaced. So therefore, I'm, I'm sticking to it stubbornly and saying, no, this is Holocaust. And you, the Rebbe, the Rebbe has said that that in order that one of the one of the activities that the listen the from Mashiach is to live Mashiach. Maybe believe Mashiach is here. Also the Rebbe said, make believe Mashiach is here. Make believe Mashiach is here, Pshat. Because Mashiach is here from the day of creation. Ruach of the Kim Rachelis of Neha Maim, the Gemara said, this is a Luchish Mashiach. As much as the world conceals, and the Luchish Mashiach cannot really, it, it can conceal to the naked eye, but doesn't conceal in essence. It is there in essence. This is what, this is the highest of the order world. So when you live Mashiach, it means that you insist, no, it cannot be devoid, the world cannot be devoid of, of Mashiach. Even though I don't see it. But this is the real truth of the world. This means living Mashiach. It's not fooling yourself, but it's, it is connecting to the reality, to a deeper reality. Thus, in the name from Gili Bechinas Oyratz, and it's Nimsha Halidei Habiruri, because that's in the name from Biruri. Biruri make a shot that you have hell of a hassle. And you are you are defying the Helen and you insist on on treating it as if it's this no Helen. Because in essence the Helen is only is only, is only a cover up a cover up. And this Indian Mashikin is that's nimshach the oil atzmi that's nimshach the bechinas oil atzmi that's nimshach and they have you am ha the biruim is an oil atzmi that is the milam is slapshus became that is an oil atzmi that cannot be contained cannot be identified through a cave. Just one moment for one more point. There's an ashama in every human being. There's a life force. Life, by definition, is infinite. There is no, we cannot fathom the depth of life. Its manifestation, its manifestation is very finite. It's very limited. Oh. Like we 
you say, a person talks, a person walks, a person smiles, a person sings. These are all very limited manifest expressions of life. But then, like in the story of the baby, there is, there is, a, there is a, a shine that comes through from a person's face, which is the shine of the Nishok. It does not express itself in any case, in, in any case, in any particular form, action. Principle that if there's Hashem besimcha, I hear it's supposed to be besimcha. Besimcha does not mean that he has to be dancing all the time. But there has to be an, a sense of simcha on a constant basis. There has to be a simcha, a sense of simcha, a sense of, 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 of deep happiness to be alive, to be a he, to be in the Mabish's world, that has to be a constant. Nothing has to arouse it. Nothing can, can possibly arouse it. So my is is from substance became. This is the essential reality of the Mabish's presence in every person and in the world. This is Milam Yislapsus Bikilim. It does not, it cannot be expressed in any, in any particular form. This is what is Nimshach and is Gala in the Sheikh, which we are going to be pursuing further in this Shem tomorrow. Have a great day.